Hey y'all, out here at uh, Detroit Autorama 2014 and I've got a 67 Nova street machine. You know how I love the street machines and this is a Nova and this one's way, way cool. So anyways, let me get, uh, let me, I think I'm gonna be able to interview the builder. So let me get uh, somebody run down and tell us a little bit about it. Jeremy, how are you, brother? How you doing, Scotty? Good, good, good to see you. Good, man. Tell me, about, uh, tell me a little bit about this hot rod you brought. It's a 67 twin turbo Nova. It's a SP2. Twin turbos? Yes. Where'd you put those at? The turbos are hidden back inside the fender wells. We made a, a set of stainless one-off headers. Back there. Yep. We uh, heat wrap them down pipes. The turbos got DEI blankets on them. Uh, an SP2, 9 to 1 compression, been detuned for the twin turbos. It's got precision 63s on it. And a bunch of metals. Hand fabricated out of uh, 060 aluminum. Uh, we made in the shop. Mixed up three operating system on the engine. All the LS112 packs are hidden in the firewall. There's a door that we made in the firewall. Oh, yeah. That's bad. Yeah. Everything has been matte finished. The what engine, color is that? It's actually a Kia 06 Kia Sorento uh, burnt orange. Man. And, uh, we used a PPG black clear over the top of it. And it's, uh, it almost looks like anodized in a sense. It does. Yeah. No, it's beautiful. The whole car is awesome. Thank and, you. you know, I mean, I love when you do something where you don't know. There's no way you're going to get this car's twin turbo, you know what I'm saying? No, that was the nice thing yeah, about it. Yeah, that, yeah, uh, You don't really have any idea that it's a twin turbocharged car until you really start looking. You know? It's like uh, Trapanga's uh, nail. Yes. I saw that car yes. three times and didn't yeah. know it was twin turbo. Yeah, we, we started this car in, in uh, 2009, actually, and, uh, you know, we've, we've been working on it quite some time. And actually, the car was, uh, bodywork and paint was done by Charlie Hutton at uh, Charlie Hutton College. Oh, cool. Yeah, so, man. Uh, What's the name of your shop? My shop is Miranda Built. Uh, Where are y'all at? We're in uh, Palm City, Florida. Cool. Yep, and we have a 20,000 square foot shop, and we're actually paired up with another company there, Extreme Performance, uh -huh. who does all our uh, interior work. So cool. it's a good pair, and it works out very well. We do everything in-house, paint and body work. Um, we have a dyno going in, chassis dyno. So One-stop shop. Yeah, we don't have to sub anything out anymore. That's always been our problem along the way is subbing, subbing things out. So yeah. we got our paint booth finally installed, and, and everything is in-house so it's if somebody nice. wants to see your other stuff you got a website or something yes go to www.mirandabuilt.com spell that uh, m-i-r-a-n-d-a-b-u-i-l-t.com cool yeah. now let's get around to telling me what you've done here too okay we, we took the front bumper and uh, we sectioned the bumper an inch and a half to make it taller um, the sides were tucked into the body we gap matched it to the uh, to the filler panel behind the bumper and then we made the air opening in the front for the condenser and the intercooler to get air up into the, in the intercooler and radiator. And then the grill was actually a one-off uh, piece that Jeremy Carlson made from the street performance for us. And it's all uh, CNC made. And it it kind of has the characteristics of a, of a new Range Rover. We kind of styled it a little bit off that. And it's got uh, LED turn signals that are in the... Yeah, I see them right there, there. yeah. Um, they're color matched as well and matte clears. Uh, it's got... The new LED truck light style headlights in it, uh, seven inch round, crystal clear. They're all LED, so there's no draw on them. Right. Absolutely way cool, man. And what, any body mods you've done to it? Yeah, the car actually, um, everything has been shaved on it. The bottom sides of the fenders have been extended. The rockers have been extended. The pinch, all the pinch welds. Um, the rockers flow into the pinch weld on the bottom. So we got rid of that. The exhaust is actually frenched into the edge of the round edge of the rocker. Um, that was a big, a big feature in the car that was real tough to get it to look right. We, we didn't want it to look like it was something that was there, something right. that was very subtle. Um, the quarter openings have been wide for three inches to accommodate the 2020 twin tire. And then we also extended the back side of the quarter panel behind the rear wheel. We, we brought the front of it down about an inch to give it almost a tapered look in the back. Right. And then brought the back of the wheel belt forward probably about an inch and a half as well to continue that body line all the way out around the radius of the wheel belt. And it has a, 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 a belly can in the back as well. Wow. It's sitting on bags, obviously. Yeah, it's sitting on uh, air ride. It's got a, a custom-made uh, four-link rear suspension. What's it got? A tablet and a dash? Yes, it has actually an iPad operating system that operates the entire car from the headlights to the to the gauges to everything. And the car operates on the tablet. 
And then uh, the, it's got a push button start on the side. We kind of designed the push button here off of uh, an iDrive BMW. Right. Now so it has the iDrive system. Right. I'll show you that. Mm -hmm. And that lights up completely. It's got right. all LEDs in it. And uh, actually, this part of the knob twists, and that's your volume control for your radio. How it's cool pretty, is that? Pretty neat. There's your tablet right there, gauges and everything. Kind of check it out. Uh, the tablet is uh, an iPad, actually, and it's based off of the ISIS operating system, ISIS uh, power. So that's all on that, the chassis part of it. Now, like I said, the big stuff three is the engine part of it. Man, that changed so good. I love how you did the stitching down there. Yeah, there, the stitching, too. That, that, was very a, cool. that was a big design feature from uh, from Jeremy and the team at Extreme. Right. Uh, we gave them an artist rendering of the inside of the car. Eric Rockmeyer did the artist rendering. Um, it's got a full leather headliner in it, all stitched as well. I love how you incorporated that roll bar in it, too. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, beautiful, that was man. A, that was a huge thing, too, that we, we were trying to hide the roll bar in, in, in the renderings. So, you know, this roll bar actually continues all the way around the back side of the car. Oh, wow. But you really don't notice it, you know? Sure. So that was another big styling thing that we did, too. We made all the AC vents, and actually the, the driver and passenger AC vents plumb through the door. I see that. New car. Right. So that's pretty neat. It's got a little grill in there that we made, painted everything to match. Dude, home run. Yeah, we did. No, that. man, you nailed it. Yeah. We spent a lot of time on, uh, on the design part of the car, which was tough. You know, it was really Well, getting really a tough. plan, right? I mean, yeah. if you got a plan, it makes it easier. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you got a direction and all that. And, man, I love how you use the different in uh, the different colors. Yeah. I mean, that may be the same color. It's just, it is. It's, it's actually flat the same. versus shiny. Yeah, same color, but flat. Funny, quick, funny story. This molding was actually the customer's idea. He wanted to take the factory Nova molding off. We were trying to, to figure out what we're going to put in there. This piece is a handrail off a bridge. You know the aluminum handrails? <laughs> he bought me a, a, a six-foot stock of handrail, and I cut I cut the handrail off, with welded you know welded pieces on the back, and that bolts onto the car. It's, it's a molding, you know, oh, rather than making it out of CNC. Oh, so that right. was actually a handmade piece. So, and then you put the gas cap between. Yeah, the, the gas filler is in here. Holy smokes. There's actually, a, there's actually a light in there, too. Oh, out. no kidding. Yep, so when he fills up the car at night, he Dude. can, he can uh, see, you know, see you know, what To me, that tells me what kind of shop you're running. When they can think of stuff like, it's going to be nighttime when he's filling it up, let's put a light in there. For yes. Him. Oh, that's, I mean, that's thinking ahead, yeah. Man. We, try to, we try to do everything like that where, where you're, you are thinking ahead. I have the panels out. Yeah, I got it. Now, people yeah. understand, I'm in here yeah. so while you all are setting up, man. This isn't uh, its finest moment, but um, it, it's real. You know what I'm saying? That's it what people get to see is that, you know, they get to talk to you, they hear about it, and they know that we're not sitting here staging it, and, you know, yeah. the script you're going by. You're just telling me about your cool car y'all built. Thanks, man. And you rocked it, man. Yeah, I, I love the orange color against the gray. Yeah. The color combinations, the design. I mean, that's just, that's just gorgeous. And you didn't get it's modern, but you didn't take away that cool look that the 67 is going to give you. You didn't try to change that much. You, yeah, you did a lot of work, but it's not in your face. Yeah, right. that was a big thing. And, and we were very, we were very up, up in the air on the wheels. The car had polished wheels on it when we got it, you know, originally. We were right. locking it up. When we knew we were going to do paint on the wheels, we were just very hesitant to throw something on there that was going to be overboard. Right. And the orange was was a very hard thing we, we sprayed a sample we actually put it on the car as we built the car we just looked at it for like two weeks we let right. everyone kind of digest it when we first looked at it we were like this might be a little too much but i, I don't i think we nailed it i think it's, it's, it's and then you open the hood up and it almost makes it look like somehow all that's carrying through from the engine to the wheels to the interior all the way out the back of the car yes, yes. the flow is just flows awesome man yeah there's a lot of little uh, little details that we did just to try to tie everything together you know doesn't all well thought out, brother. No doubt about it. Are you all going to have it out to any other shows this year? Yeah, yeah. Actually, we're going to take the car out to uh, the next show we're going to take it to is probably Good Guys Kissimmee. Okay. Then we're going to go to Good Guys Columbus. All right. And then uh, we're actually going to take it to SEMA as well. Okay, cool. And we got two more coming behind it that are the same, same stock title. Okay.
Dude, we're friends now. I'm going to be right on top of those builds, cool, too, man. man. Yeah, now I'll see you in Nashville, or in uh, Columbus. Yeah, we're going to go to Columbus. And, yep. folks, if you, uh, if you get out to Good Guys show and only can do one, Columbus is the one. I guess you're going to go for Street Machine of the Year? We are. We're going to try to do that. We brought it here with no no true intentions of, of anything, just a bunch of humble guys, you know, sure. building a cool car and bringing it out and see what we could do. You know, we right. had fun building it. There was a lot of people involved, and, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do with it, you know? Cool. Jeremy, thanks so much for your time. Thank and you very much, Scotty. Thanks for your shop. The guy that paid to get it done. Yeah. Thanks to everybody. Give me another shout out on that shop of yours. It's uh, MirandaBuilt.com. We're cool. in uh, Palm City, Florida. Awesome. Again, thanks, man. Thanks, Scotty. Folks, there you go. There is one nice 67 Nova. I'm trying to dodge people. 67 Nova from uh, Autorama 2014. Man, I like that car. I just like the color combination. I like the stance. I like all they did. Hope you all have enjoyed it too. See you.